Loss and Equality by Akna, Abraham, and Jonathan. The goal of this presentation is to get a better understanding of what class inequality is by viewing various examples and how it affects the community around us. Class inequality primarily focuses on the financial differences between social classes. Factors such as education, race, jobs offered, residential segregation, and gender are some of the main contributors to class inequality. In a study done by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they noted that only college graduates experienced a growth in median weekly earnings since 1979. High school dropouts, on the other hand, faced a sharp decline in their median weekly earnings by approximately 22%. Another example of class inequality is the wage gap between men and women. It has been stated that women aged 35 and older earn approximately 74 to 80 percent of what their male counterparts earn. Women also earn only 76 cents to the dollar that men make. Class inequality has had a major role in sexism in the workplace, according to statistics posted by the Stanford Center on Poverty and Inequality. The average woman earned 60 percent of what the average man earned until the, around the 1970s. The number increased 80%, but has remained stagnant ever since 2005. Education and racial inequity are affected by class inequality as well. The Stanford Center found that the racial gaps in education, in terms of the rates of high school dropouts, found that it was less with whites and greater with Hispanics. The gap also extended to college enrollment, with whites having the highest rate and African Americans having the lowest rate. Normalization in class inequality is that the upper class continues to get wealthier while the lower classes continue to get poorer, resulting in an ever-increasing gap between classes as generations go by. The norm is reflected in statistics of wealth inequality and wage inequality by the Stanford Center, where the center found that the wage inequality has increased substantially over the last 30 years and that the top 10% of U.S. households held about 70% of the total wealth in 2007 compared to the 68% held in 1983. The dominant oppressions made by class inequality include multiple groups such as people that are incarcerated, immigrants, high school dropouts, the homeless, children, and women. The majority of people that compromise these groups are Hispanics, African Americans, and other minority groups, according to the Stanford Center. For example, most homeless were found to be middle-aged males who are Hispanic, African American, vets, or disabled. The same goes for people in incarceration, with the majority being high school dropouts and young African Americans. Our selected media highlights the gender pay gap, segregation and race discrimination, disadvantages, and wealth inequality between the wealthiest individuals and middle and low class citizens. Our group enjoyed this project immensely, becoming more informed about the various forms of discrimination faced in society. By analyzing the data presented in our media, we found enjoyment in the prospect of fighting for the rights of those affected and the disenfranchised in order to make